Hey guys, this is test 33, game 4. This is the game with stores on a street from west to east. We have 10 stores all together. We have 5 on the north, 5 on the south. I have arranged them over here just in the way that they are described in the choice, in the paragraph initially, where we have 1 and 2 across from each other, 3 and 4 across from each other, etc. North and south, 2 rows, 5 slots each. Now this game is a matching or assignment game where we are assigning the colors green, red, and yellow to each of the stores. We don't know exactly where they're going to go, but we can still determine them a great deal based upon the rules and based upon the inferences that we can make here. Now the first rule tells us no store is decorated with the same color as the store next to it. So I drew here XX with a slash through it stores with the same color are never adjacent. Also, the second rule, no store is the same color as that store across from it, so I have a vertical knot block to represent that rule as well. They tell us that yellow lights are on exactly one store for each side of the street, so I put one Y next to the north row and one Y next to the south row. Finally, they tell us that we have red on four, and we also have yellow on five. So these, these, this last rule here has essentially told us that we've already used up the one Y that we need for the north row. Everything else here will be either green or red. Now we can make a number of inferences here based upon the knowledge that no two stores that are adjacent have the same color and no two stores across from each other have the same color. Given that Y is on five, we cannot have Y on 3, and given that red is on 4, we cannot have red on 3. This leaves only green to be on 3. Additionally, we can infer the same regarding store 6 because it has Y across from it and R next to it. So finally, we can um, lay out one more inference here, which is that store 1 cannot be green because we have green on 3. It can also not be Y because we've used up Y on 5, the single Y on the north level. Therefore, store number 1 will have to be red. Those are all the variables we can determine the exact color for, the exact store for that color. We can also make a few more inferences, though. Given that we have red on both 1 and 4, store number 2 cannot be red. It has to be either green or yellow. We can also infer that because we have green on six, store number eight cannot be green. It will be either red or yellow. Because store five cannot be yellow, it will have to be either green or red. And finally, we know that stores nine, store nine cannot be yellow because we already have green or red there, so it will be red or green. And finally, store 10 could be any of the three colors. So we could put down green, red, yellow. Now this is the initial setup for the game. Question number 19. A complete and accurate list of stores colors on the bottom south level. Well, we have a lot of that determined already. So for that reason, we could simply run through the choices. G, R, G, R, G. That looks pretty good, but then we would have no Y's in the choice, and we need to have exactly one Y on the south level. So for that reason, A is eliminated. B, G, R, G, Y, R. G, R, G, Y, R. Checks out fine, and we have exactly one yellow, so B is our answer for number 19. I will run through the others, though. G, R, Y, R, G, impossible. We always have G on 6. D is bad for the same reason. It does not have G on 6, so both C and D are eliminated. E has two yellows in it. We can only have exactly one. So for that reason, E is eliminated, and B is our answer for number 19. Next, number 20. If we have G on 7, so they're particularly limiting it here so that we're going to have G on 7, which requires R on 9, each could be false except. So four of these choices could be false. One of them must be true. Easier to think of things in terms of truth than in terms of falsehood. So I want to look for what must be true here. 
g on 2. No, g is not determined. It could still be y on 2 for a, so a is eliminated. b, g on 10. 10 could still be any of g, r, or y, so b is gone. c, r on 8. R could, a could still be R or Y, so C is gone. D, R on 9. Yes, that is a definite D is our answer for number 20. I'll look at E though, Y on 2. 2 could still be G or Y, so E is gone, leaving D is our answer for number 20. Next, number 21. General must be true question. We can simply look at our initial inferences here in the hopes that these will help us. G on 10. 10 could be any of G, R, or Y, so A is gone. B, R on 1. Yes, that is a definite initial inference. B is our answer for number 21. I will run through the rest, though. R on 8. 8 could be R or Y, C is gone. D, Y on 8. Again, 8 could be R or Y, so D is gone. E, Y on 10. 10 could always be any of the three unless there are further limitations in place, so E is gone. B is our answer for number 21. Next, number 22, if we have G five times, five Gs in the game, what must be true? Well, we already have G on three and G on six, so there are only three Gs left to allocate. Two and 10 will both have to be G because we cannot have both seven and nine being G because of the rule that we cannot have the same store, the stores that are adjacent have the same color right up here. You see that rule, the X's with the slash through them that are next to each other. So one of seven or nine will be G, but not both. So what must be true? G on nine, no G, G could be on seven, so A is gone. B, R on two, we never really have R on two. We always have either G or Y on two, so B is gone. C, um, R on seven, G could be on 7, so C is gone. That was not determined. D, R on 10. 10 is going to be G in this case, so that's gone. E, Y on 8. Yes, if we have G on both 6 and 10, we will not be able to have R on 8 because then we wouldn't have any Ys on the bottom level. Since 2 was G, Y had to become 8, so E is our answer for number 22. Next, number 23, if we had y on two y's on the south level here, so two different y's going on over here, again, you know, any of 2, 8, or 10 could be y, but because 8 and 10 are touching, because they're adjacent due to the, one of those initial rules, we cannot have both 8 and 10 be y. 2 will have to be y, and then exactly one of 8 or 10 will be y in addition. So for that reason, D is our answer to number 23. I will run through the rest, though. G on 1, no. R is on 1, as always. B, R on 7. G could be 7 instead. That's not determined. C, R on 10. 10 could be R. We don't really know, though. That's not a definite. So C is gone. E, Y on 8. Y could be 8, but does not have to be 8. Y could be on 10 instead and have R on 8. So for that reason, E is eliminated and D is our answer for number 23.